Bottom of the second, and there's no score. The Mets and the Cardinals as we send it over to Jim Hayes. All right, I am with uh, John Mazalock. And, John, there's some good news on the injury front. Jaime apparently set to go out in a rehab. Jordan Walden as well. How about an update on some other guys like uh, John Jay and Matt Belial? Well, both those guys are a little slower than we had really hoped. Um, I think Johnny will start uh, getting a little bit more aggressive with the swings as we start to turn the calendar to August. So as far as uh, estimating when he'll be back, it's a little early for me to tell you that. And in, in terms of Belial, I think the pro progress he's making has been positive, but he's still going to need a little more time. How about Marco Gonzalez? How close is he to being an asset that you guys can utilize? Well, I think he's on the right path. Um, now he's going to be going every fifth day, and, and he'll do one more start at Springfield, and then we'll likely get him back to Memphis. But, you know, the key for us is that he's showing he's healthy. Base hit for Mark Reynolds. So as you analyze things the way it's situated today for your ball club, how do you figure out whether or not you guys want to be active uh, before the trade deadline? Well, the way I would characterize it is, is it's not whether we're going to be active or not. I mean, we certainly think there's some things we could do to improve this club. And the most important thing for us is just to remain opportunistic and understand what that trade landscape looks like. In other words, you know, people have talked about us needing a starter. People have talked about us needing relief help. People have talked about us needing some offensive help, all of which could be arguably true. But when you look at, at our club and, and, and directionally where we're going, we're going to get healthy. And when we get healthy, that's going to be like getting a few trades. So we just want to decide what we look like on the 31st and most importantly, what we want to look like for the next two months. Is Matt Adams and his health part of the equation in terms of what you look at? It is and it isn't. Um, I'm not ruling him out for this year, but I still don't know when that time might look like he could actually contribute. So it's hard for us to really count on it now. And, and so when you look at making a trade for some offense that might play first base, I don't want to end up having to block Matt for next year. Um, and so that comes into play. And there's obviously the, the young man down in Memphis by the name of uh, Stephen Piscotti that you know, at some point, maybe we'll give him an opportunity to get some at-bats up here and just see what he can do. How far along is he in his development in your eyes? Well, I think from an offensive standpoint, he's ready to contribute. I think if you're looking at him to be your everyday first baseman, that's a lot to ask after a few games over there for uh, Memphis. But having said that, you, you look at our schedule, you look at opportunities where we could maybe uh, give him some time, not only at first but in the outfield, I think there's some opportunities there. With the All-Star break, you guys took the opportunity to get uh, Waka and Carlos Martinez a break. Are, are you the, the way you guys look at it? Are they right where you need them to be in terms of innings, or is it something you're really going to have to keep a close eye on the rest of the way? I do think it's something that we have to focus on and, and concentrate on in, in the sense of, yes, they've pitched outstanding. They were both All-Stars. They ate up a lot of innings for us at a critical time. We have roughly, what, 70 games left, so they're going to get a lot of innings there if we're not careful. But, you know, obviously having somebody like a Cooney, Gonzalez, a Lions down below that can help cover for that is a big asset to have. A lot of information here. Thanks, Mo. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jimmy, and welcome back. A uh, couple, couple games vacation. Dan, we send it uh, back to you. Nobody deserved it more than you, Jim. 